This is the Money Mike Syndicated Radio Podcast. How we doing? You got the New York Liberty World Champion. Nobody does it better. The New York Liberty have done it, and they're going to do it again and again. I see a three-peat. I don't know about you, but let's talk about it. The New York Liberty are that good. The New York Liberty are the world champions of the WNBA. They hands down uh, went through injuries, went through toughness, mental toughness, mental challenge, and they got it done. And that one there, I'll tell you, folks, you don't win that without Sandy Bedello's coach of the year, right? This is Money Mike Awards night, right, tonight, because I got I, I to gotta give honor words due, right? Uh, Sandy Bedello, you are the coach of the year. No doubt about it. Right. Uh, You worked your lineup. You went 10 deep in the rotation. Uh, You got each and every player's buy in that this is what we want to do. No doubt about it. Now, you get over here, Breer and Astir. Oh, my goodness. Folks, this is the MVP. It's the MVP of the WNBA. But it's like LeBron. You can't give somebody the award every year. Right. You got to try to spread it around. But what other player can you say if you take away Brianna Stewart? Would the Liberty be good? Yes, they'll still be able to win. They can win. Here's what I like about the New York Liberty. They can win without player. They, their system is so good that when they take the court and they get such great continuity out of that offense, they got the ball moving, the ball doesn't get struck. They really play with a two-dribble pound. If you can't get it in two dribbles, boom, kick the ball out. I mean, they're, 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 when you watch the New York Liberty play, it's an enjoyable because Brianna Stewart is a true and true basketball player, not a part-time player. It's a full-time player. So when you buy a ticket to see the New York Liberty and you watch Brianna Stewart, you're going to get your money's worth. You are going to get your money's worth, right? There is no doubt about it. Now, let's keep it pushing because they got such greatness over there, okay? They got such greatness, right? You got Phoebe. Look at this here, man. This is nails to the wall for players who go in there and battle it out night in and night out. You got Jaquel Jones. Man, Jaquel Jones, I, that, I, we, we call that old school. Oh, every move she got is from the old school. Passing, no looking. And, and, and you're talking about some really good players, right? You're not talking about average players here. Now, you got Brian Cashman. Okay, you got Brian Cashman sitting up there, right? So there's no doubt about it. But you also got Brian Cole, right? So you got two Bryans in New York. And you got the Yankees, Yankees over there fuming. But you got the Liberty going there and take down the WNBA championship. You got Brian comes in there with a game plan, has a vision, three-year vision, three-year vision. It came to pass, right? So the New York Liberty are so special. You want to talk about seriousness and specialness? Now let's get over here to Inescu. You want to talk about nails in, nails out, nails in, nails out, night after night? You know what? These players here, the Liberty, what I like about the Liberty is the Liberty come in and perform, and they try to reach perfection when they play. Okay? They're, they're, they're not a team that's in the mistakes. There's not a team that's in the mental lapses during the game. This team says, hey, look, we are no the New York Liberty, UNESCO knows I'm going to get everybody's best game when the New York Liberty. You talk about selling out. You talk about putting fans in the seat. The New York Liberty do that. They do that on both ends. And they play in front of big crowds. But this one here, Nescu, she comes in. She shoots it well. She gets her role. Okay, had a little tough shot, right? You got to think about that, right? They played in Minnesota, right? You got a Nescu win one for 19. What if Nescu would have win what? Let's say 12 for 19. It would have blew them out. The, the Minnesota Lynx, they would have blew them out. Can't hold a candle, right? But you only had their point guard go. But that's okay because in the end, you won the game. And there ain't no other way to look at it. You got Brianna Stewart, right? That's a big-time player. You got Sandy. That's a big-time player there. Okay, now, now, now let's get to my girl. I, I'm, I'm not in the wrong terminology, but let, let's get to Lainey Hamilton. Because I love me some Lainey Hamilton. And Lainey Hamilton, you already know that. You hit me back. You are the best two-way player in the WNBA. And you look at this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you in on a little secret. Okay, this team right here, okay, 32 and 8, I believe, right? Uh, somewhere around there, this team right here. If Lainey Hamilton wouldn't have gotten hurt, if she would not have gotten hurt, team would have probably lost three games all year, right? You you, you got to look at it. They are going to three-peat. 
and Lainey Hamilton handles her business. There is not a player that can defend, defend with the intensity and the strength than Lane Hamilton. This one here is untouchable. Okay, you want to talk about a player that uh, is a two-way? I can get it on offense. I can do my role. But let me tell you, when you bring that ball against me on defense, I'm going to lock you down. Ain't nobody does it better than Laney Hampton. That, that's the bottom line. So the New York Liberty are a team that I believe you're going to be looking at a three-peat, right? This one here is going to turn into a three-peat because the players that they have, are so locked in, locked in, night in and night out. Nobody can beat this team. I don't care who you are. You you got teams that want to win a WNBA champ. This team's going to be here for three years. They'll come back and do it again. And then for the fun of it, they'll come back and do it again, right? Because the lineup that they have is just too good. There's too much synergy, right? So any, anybody else you get, you're, you're adding, you got so much punch right now. You got the fastest car in NASCAR, right? You, if you want to put it in that perspective. There ain't nobody going to touch the New York Liberty. I mean, you could say what you want. You could talk about it. You could talk to the left. You could talk to the right. But this squad right here won't be beat, right? You're going to have to go deep, deep. You got to bet it. You got a veteran in the post. Okay, you got Rihanna Stewart coming out of UConn. It's the best player. This player could have been MVP every year. Every single year she's the MVP. Why? Because she does so much for the team, right? You got Lady Hamilton stands tall. You got Inescu. You got everybody's standing tall, right? So they're looking in the eye. Let's play. Because when you take the court against the Liberty, you ain't going to beat the Liberty. I can tell you that right now. I, I, I can look at it and say, okay, I've kind of seen all the other teams. The Liberty are so far ahead of everybody else. Folks, this is a team I, literally, let me put it to you in a different perspective. This is a team who could potentially, with the right year, like the Chicago Bulls, because I saw it with the Bulls, right? And the Bulls went in there and won 70-plus games. I mean, it just was, it was an embarrassment, right? This team could go in there, 44-game season. They could probably go 42-2. and two. I mean, they may have one or two off nights. That's it. And I'm telling you, if Laney Hamilton wasn't been hurt, it would have swept the board. They, it, 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 was, it was embarrassing because the team was too strong. They lost a little rhythm. They got it back. They came back. But they got benched. You know, you look at the New York Liberty. You, you got to put this in perspective, right? Let, let me show you what I mean here, folks. This is New York Liberty. You got Brian Stewart and Eskew Jones. Laney Evans played this, right? Okay, that's your starters, right? They got all the minutes. But look at this. Vandersloot, Thornton, Savali, Burke. I mean, you got to look at these numbers that these guys are putting up, right? You got to really look at the numbers and say, what is my bench giving me, right? Well, you got a bench that can go in there. You're guaranteed to get this coming off the bench, right? So you got 20 plus, 25 points coming off the bench easy. Easy. The bench is so good, right? All the way down to Jokic gets in there, plays 26 games, nine minutes. I, I can tell you this. This one here is tough enough to beat. Uh, and and here, here's, where, here, here's where it's tough to deal with a team. And, and this one of the tangibles, if, I, if you catch it, I catch it all the time. Here's what I got. I got, look at the assists, right? Look at the starting five assists, right? That, that, that tells me right there, right? So, so you, you got at the bottom, FIBA getting 1.8. You got Hamilton 3.3. Jones 3.2. Anescu getting sick. Brianna Stewart getting 3.5. Folks, that ball doesn't get stuck at all with the New York Liberty. This is the world champion in a year that the WNBA got the most attention it's ever had. And the New York Liberty are the world champions. And as far as Brianna Stewart and that foul that got hit on there, that's a foul, folks. You cannot impede a player's, okay, ability to get the shot off, okay? So when you look at that, Brianna Stewart ran in there, ran in her chest, okay? She's got to get clearance. She goes up to shoot the shot. You stop. You impede her ability to shoot. That's called a foul. So there's nothing embarrassing here. New York Liberty hands down, you know, and like I said, if Vanessa would have went in there and rocked and rolled, you know what would have happened? Man, they'd have blew him out by 30. Right? I mean, let, let's be honest. These guys are really, really good. And when you got a general manager can lay out a plan and tell you exactly what he wants to do, because that's, that's where the game is. You got a lot of people telling you the plan, how's it going to work. And, I, you know, I listened to President Kelly with the fever talking about, okay, with Lynn Dunn, you had a, you had a four-year plan. Now Kelly comes back and says, you know, it's going to be a three to five. So they've taken a four-year plan to a nine-year plan, right? So at the end of the day, but this guy came in here and did it. I mean, he picked a coach, right? You pick a coach. Who do you want to be your coach? He picks it. 
Who do you want to be the point guard? He picks it, right? And so you you got a lineup that everybody in that lineup has a different role. But when you bring all five of those fellas, players together, as Zaneski does night in and night out, okay, you got a point guard that understands the distribution, and she understands the ability to knock down shots and patience, right? She doesn't press the game. And when I say the New York Liberty don't press it, right? They kind of let the offense stick with the continuity. Let's go side to side. Sandy's got to move in that ball, right? And, and when you do let like that, everyone is contributing. But, man, as long as you got this one, you ain't going to lose. There ain't no way. Because when you take a player like Brianna Stewart comes out of UConn, right? You got a big time. For now, champions are what they do. Now she's got a taste. I smell a three-peat. I smell a three-peat. That means three-time world champion. They won it this year. They'll come back and win it again next year, and they'll come back and win it again, again for the third year. And maybe, maybe, it's like Michael Jordan, right? Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Maybe some other team may catch up because here's, here's what you got to look at in the WNBA. And you got to take a quick, quick look at it, and this is why I'm telling you the New York Liberty are going to three-peat. All the, you, first of all, you got seven coaches got fired. They got fired. They're gone. So now you got to rebuild this thing. I think Atlanta Dream went all the way down to the mid-major level. I haven't never seen that before in pro ball. I've seen a lot of pro ball. I've never seen a coach get hired at a mid-major uh, that's going to be the coach. Florida Golf goes. He's had some success. Had a couple players. Did get to the league. Let's see it happen. But they are a long way from the New York Liberty, right? When you get a long way from Sandy, you talk about a mastermind of a coach. And this is what separated her. She understands the game. She understands the execution. She understands what options you're supposed to get out of this offense. Came in, played the point guard position. I always tell you, most of the best coaches that are coaching pro basketball, they're all point guards, right? Because really, when you get a point guard, and here, here's the deal, it makes it really good. Okay, you got Sandy. She could deliver the message, right? But then when you go on the court, okay, Aneskew's got a facilitate that message so they gotta have like minds so Anescu and sandy they got like minds they think alike they sit down and have a conversation it's what we want to do this is what you see this is what i see right and when you got that now you don't have to coach every possession right so when so when you're looking at sandy and what she's got to do you got you got to understand you got brianna stewart you don't have to coach brianna stewart on every possession and folks i really want you to understand that this team is that good other teams are trying to follow this model, trying to reach this model, but they've raised the plateau. The bar is extremely high, right? Because you have players, you do not have to coach possessions. You do not have to jump up and down. They know what they're supposed to do, and every one of them is a vet, right? You got the vet. I, I'm telling you, Laney Hamilton, hands down, ain't nobody touching that. Any, any, anytime you got the best two-way player who is the best defender in the WNBA, you, you got to ask yourself, how are they going to lose? It's impossible, okay? That's how good they are. In the city of New York, like I told you, you got Brian Cashman trying to get the Yankees, but the Brian over here, hey, Brian, how you doing, man? I'm a world champion, right? Took me three years, done. But you got you got a lineup that nobody can touch and nobody's going to touch Laney Hamilton, period. So that that's kind of what it is. I apologize to the New York Liberty because – uh you know what? You deserve more. You deserve more. You've earned it. You've earned the right. But I'm going to start a little buzz for you. The New York Liberty Money Mike Syndicated Radio Podcast, powered up by Fanatics, WNBA gear, HBCU gear, shoes, sports mem memorabilia. If you're a trader, we got it, right? You got baseball cards, basketball cards. We got it. Fanatics is the choice and the way to go. Now, let's get back to the Liberty. Here's the deal. They're the world champions. I see one, two, three championships in a row because the WNBA, got to remember, seven other coaches are coming back in here to try to redo this. They're going to stay together. They're solid as a rock. So it's catch-up time, right? And, uh, Brian, Brian, you know what? Sometimes when you do the thing the right way, Brian Coleman, you get it done. You deserved it. You deserved it. You earned it. You took the time to put it together. You found the right pieces of the puzzle. Executive of the year, Brian, WNBA champion, world champion. No doubt about it, right? 
So when you get here, you got to understand this is a championship team with a championship point guard, right? Doesn't matter when the time and the money on the line, and that's who's going to get it done. Had a rough game that game five, but that's not her. That's just what happened that night. I'm moving that up to the top. This team won't be beat. I'm going to let you know that now. As long as you got Brianna Stewart, and if you want to spend some time with Gino, she'll tell you there ain't no better other player that he's ever coached. Well, Meyer Moore can stick it in there, but really, I mean, you talk about a player. This is the difference when you get a player like Brianna Stewart. She can play all five positions. She can literally play all five positions. If she was going in the NBA right now, she'd be a point guard. She'd say, okay, I can be a point guard. You know, okay, you want me to be a two guard? Six foot four. Okay, handles the ball, usage, passing. Man, the offense is executing, cross, down, staggered screen. They're running so many options off that by the time this team gets there. And they're only going to get better because next year, they're not going to have to think about offense. They're going to know it. They know it now, and they're going to build on it, right? New York Liberty World Champions, nobody does it better. Uh, and you look at these things, Sandy Bedell, man, oh, man, Australia, come over here. So one thing we know that uh, I always say the best players in the world are not all in the United States. And I'm going to tell you with Sandy Bedell, the best coaches in the world, right? The best coaches in the world are not in the United States. This one came from Australia, okay? Knows the game, loves the game. And you know what? I love it when I see a coach can get the execution out to play. So this one gets better and better. But uh, at the end of the day, you are the world champion and you're talking about the new york liberty that's right they got it done did it better than anybody else shining they're gonna come back and do it again there's no doubt about it and uh when you get on up there brian you handle your business three-year plan you got it done now we're gonna go to year four and year five that's two more championships Call it as you see it there is no doubt about it the players on the new york liberty they're tough and they're rugged. Sandy likes a certain type of player. She likes you to be physical. So you got to do what you got to do. But the New York Liberty, they're rising. Anescu, handling your business. Brianna Stewart, MVP. Modelo, coach of the year. And now you got Laney Hamilton, the best two-way player in the game. They'll all be back next year. They're going to repeat. And Muddy Mike says they're going to three-peat the New York Liberty. They're miles ahead of the rest of the WNBA. They say, bring it on because we got the trophy. And if you're bad enough, come take it from us. It's New York. You got to understand that. It's a different flavor. But Money Mike Syndicated Radio Podcast, all things are possible to those who believe. And the New York Liberty believe they are the world champions. It happened. And they believe they'll do it again and again and again, we'll see you soon.